Hi everybody, it is Wednesday. That means it's time for another edition of What Am I Working On Wednesday. I'm out here in my backyard looking at the very dead lawn and trying to think of a new idea. Normally on Wednesdays I talk about the different writing projects that I've been working on and today I got nothing. I don't know what I'm gonna write next. Uh, my summer break just began so my brain is sort of detoxing from all of the all of the papers that I've been grading so I'm shifting my brain out of teacher mode and trying to think of some creative ideas so far I got nothing so what I'm gonna do for this video today is just check in uh, every now and then and uh, and show you my progress or lack of progress But before I get to that, I don't know if you can hear this, but there's a whole bunch of bees. Can you hear them? I love this sound. There's a poet, uh, Yeats, William Butler Yeats, writes about the bee loud glade. I love that phrase, bee loud, the bee loud glade. I think it's in Innisfree. Ooh, there's a bee right there. Well, uh, I, I will check back soon before I get swarmed by these guys. All right, so that little visit to the Bee Loud Glade made me think of bee-related ideas. I don't think it's going in a good enough direction. I was writing a little bit of poetry, very simple stuff, just kind of saying, be prepared, or I know, what was it? Uh, just making some bee puns, uh, like giving advice be honest, be prepared, be brave, even when you're scared, you know, that kind of sing-songy rhyming stuff, and instead of just using the regular word be, adding an e to make it be. Uh, it's cute, but it's, um, I wrote about six of them, and it's, it's like done, I'm done with it. So I'm sitting here with some great books on the writing process. Some of them I have read, others I've just peeked through. I like this one a lot, and I will probably be turning to a few random pages to see if it inspires me. One of the things that I like to do when I'm starved for ideas is just open myself up to just to randomness and just see how I respond to it and see if it inspires anything. And another idea generation technique that I use is I think about what I've written about recently and sort of consider maybe the antithesis of that or something that's a deviation from that idea or theme. So the last picture book I wrote about was took place basically in the fog, in a foggy town. Uh, and so now I'm thinking something that is a juxtaposition to that is just something that takes place up in the up in the sky or up among the trees so that is kind of appealing to me but I don't know exactly what to do with it I did think about something involving a, you know bird character or a character that can character that can fly around uh, and a character that can't fly around an ostrich came to mind and, and sort of like a friendship or a rivalry between a flightless bird and a flightful bird. Uh, but nothing sticking yet. All right, it's been about 20 minutes of me flipping through the pages of these books and nothing too interesting has happened. I did think of playing around with the switched at birth subplot genre. But I didn't think of anything that's good or beyond cliche and I was dabbling with the idea of some kind of heist story for kids although the heist genre seems strange for picture books since it involves you know stealing things um, but I do like the idea of, of raccoons trying to get into grandmother's jar of freshly baked cookies but again, all that's pretty cliche uh, and, and not really leading my imagination into any good territory. 
The dogs are excited about something though. Is there a squirrel? So the last random thing that I like to do when I'm not coming up with ideas is go onto Wikipedia and use the random Wikipedia search and it doesn't happen very often, but every once in a while I, I stumble upon something inspiring. So let's see what happens. All right, so I've stumbled upon an idea for the day and it's it's mediocre right now, but it's enough to work with. Um, it, it's based, I'm going with the ostrich idea. Uh, one of the random things that I saw on Wikipedia was an old-fashioned airplane, and so I'm going to try combining those two ideas into a story. Like I said, I'm not, I am not completely in love with this idea. At the same time, it's good enough to work on and I think sometimes, not all the times, probably not even most of the time, so sometimes when you're working through, you know, a half-baked idea, something will happen. Oh, like Chase went into the tunnel. My dog Chase just went into the tunnel all by himself. That's his little training thing. Good boy, Chase. All right, so here's how things are going. I did uh, like a page and a half. And then uh, I stopped writing that way and I paginated it, meaning I made a little picture book dummy uh, so that I can keep track of what's going to go on each page. Uh, and that's, that helps me draft it. So I wrote the first draft by hand, and now I've typed it up. Yep, so here I am, we're running some errands, and I, I finished that first draft. It's in the computer, I'm not happy with it. But I wrote something today, so that's, that's good, I guess. So that's what I've been working on. Uh, next week I'm going to try to do the same thing, then try to, for throughout the summer, I want to write one picture book a week. Even if it's just a not so good first draft of a picture book, that's gonna be my goal so that by the time summer is done, I will have, ooh, at least a dozen new picture books. And out of that dozen, there should be at least one picture book that's good enough to send to my agent, that's good enough to send out into the world, that's good enough to be in bookstores. So we'll see if that plan works. I will talk to you soon. I would love to know what you're working on. Leave a comment and tell me about your projects this summer.